Alright folks, uh, I'm here, out here at the quarry and we're doing a little dove hunt. Um, hopefully I won't have any trouble with the local landowners. This is this right here, the sanctuary from then. This is fish and wildlife home this. But a lot of times pe people come up here and tell me there's no honey. Fish and wildlife can assure me there is. One down. <laughs> Sit down. <clears throat> Shooting too far in front of stuff. Of course, this is 11 here, so 
You can get away with more lead by flat. Maybe I'll go with the tree, but I mean, as soon as I do that, I'll start trying to come in. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him land there. I don't know how long they sit there. Who knows? That's too far. That down seven to go. Uh, I mean, not seven to go. Ten to go. Hopefully, he's probably up here in a few minutes. I'll make sure that there's no other. It's more challenging to shoot them when they're flying, but this is plenty of fun. I'll go get them. I don't see anything else coming in at the moment.
Well, not too bad so far. Five doves, not too much effort. Uh, after a while, they'll probably quit landing here and I'll have to actually hike around and try to flush them. I'm going to grab his chair, take a bath in the truck, and now he's going to do a hike through here, see if I can flush anything. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a hike through here and see if I can flush any doves. Plenty of quail out here. I'm definitely going over here in October in the quail season. Open. Until I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I just threw my clothes on and came out of here. That's something I usually do.
Yeah, of course I didn't hunt this opening day. This is <laughs> what, September 20th, the 20th day of the season, so we're going to be skewed. I'm sure someone's been over here shooting at him. No doubt. A lot of difference between the and the twentieth I just heard wings. I heard dove wings. I don't know where it took off from.
Yeah, it definitely become wary. I should have come over here when it first opened, but I just didn't get around to it. Other stuff I was busy with. I could hike the edge of that. I might find a dove or two, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Other than ambushing them, there really isn't <laughs> much strategy here unless they happen to be flying by and you shoot them out of the air when they're flying by. Hiding from me. That was disgusting. I really got, I mean, for 20 days into the season, I got five doves. The first time out for doves this year. I'll tell you where the doves really are is out at Mackay, where I hunt geese. Unfortunately, it's not open to hunting yet. It doesn't open to hunting until pheasant season opens, which is October 12th this year. <clears throat> but this is a great place. Fish and Wildlife, um, the biologist there, I talked to him at the local office. He told me that they, they've used this area to ban doves before. It's, it's such a, it draws so many doves in. They banded doves here, although I've never shot a banded dove. That would be awesome. Anyway, I take my five doves and head home and consider it a victory. I got until the 30th of September. This is the 20th. And then, then there's a, a space where there's no hunting. And then November 15th through December 14th. So, <clears throat> like another month. When I first started hunting, a dove was September 1st through 30th every year and bag limit was 10 a day it was that way year after year after year for the longest time and then <coughs> a few years ago they upped it up the bag limit to 15 and then they extended the season to october 30th which i thought was interesting i don't know why they didn't just go to the 31st but to october 30th with our bed on the 15. Now, they've, like the duck season, they've put this two segment version of the season in here. September 1st through September 30th, and then November 15th through December 14th. Now, the upshot of that is when I'm out hunting at Mackay for pheasants, quail, turkey, Dutch geese, whatever, <clears throat> if it's during that interval and I see a dove, I can shoot it. Now, when the dove season was first extended. They didn't allow dove hunting out there. And I contacted the refuge manager about it. And we had a little bickering match about it. Said, well, it's a federal refuge. You know, I said, well, the state says. He says, well, it takes time. I said, why can't you just 
say it's open. What's the process they're talking about? There's a process. What? Just write on the sign that's open. What's the process? I never could understand that. But eventually they did open it. Uh, a couple years later, I think. So now it <coughs> runs with the season. But anyway, uh, that's not bad. I might go grouse hunting tomorrow. We'll see. See our game bird regulations this year. This is a band-tailed pigeon. Not the same as the regular rock pigeons that you see all over town. Those are considered a pest and you can shoot them anytime. These, there's a season on them. You have to have a tag. And I think you can only get two. I think that's all you can get. Oh, sure. I lost it. Lost my place here. Let's see if I can find it again. Um, Bantail pigeon. Yeah, two daily bag limit. September 15th through September 23rd. It's a short season. Looks a little bit like the uh, passenger pigeon. I don't know if any of you people know about that bird, but they went extinct. They were more east of us. This is the west coast version not quite as colorful but the passenger pigeon well I'll do a separate video on that because that's that's worthy of making a whole video about but these are more closer to the coast in western Oregon I don't think I've ever seen one here and like I said you have to have a tag anyway uh, thanks for watching um, I'll be this will be on Patreon, YouTube, and probably on Rumble as well. Now that I have a Rumble account. And it's still Z Coop. It's still the same channel. So, Anyway, a special thanks to my patrons. And um, thanks everyone for watching this. And until next time, happy hunting.